We're just, we're mostly here to have fun, but we do have some people who are taking it a little more seriously. Alright. Alright. Interesting here. Okay, we've got a Zelda and Ivysaur matchup. Both very heavy hitters. Um, the Zelda has her forward air and her back air, which is like the toe, and you want to watch out for that. But Ivysaur has very strong smash attacks, especially his up smash. He's pretty good with Ivysaur. I'm always impressed. Mm. Um, Ivysaur charges up his solar beam every time you hit a sweet spot or if you just hold B. Um, so if you hit a sweet spot with up smash, up air, or down air, um, your bulb will start glowing a little bit more and more. And when it glows completely, then you can unleash this solar beam attack, which is really, really strong and really awesome to watch. Oh, nice. nice shot. Nice shot. That was a good um, stun score. It's down B. It's a straight up shot. Ooh. Close. Okay. You can probably bring your mic in a little bit closer. Alright, cool. Alright, and I think we have the chat here. I'm not. It sometimes freezes up. But okay. Yeah, that's, that's better. Alright. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, Zelda's up B burns on when she comes in, so that's a nice addition from Melee where she didn't used to do that. Yeah. And, and those little bombs that hang out until someone runs into them or or after a good five seconds, maybe a little more, they, they explode right. uh, and reach out a bit further. It makes Zelda much more, more like damage. kind of campy and map control character, um, mm -hmm. which is good for interesting gameplay. Ooh, that Ooh, would that cost. That was harsh. Yeah, that was unfortunate. That was. Uh, but it's okay. He was up a stock. I actually They're think Ivysaur though. might have the lead here just because of because of um, his solar beam charge, which is always just something to watch out for. Yeah, um, he's pretty good with it. Yeah, and I think Ivysaur right now is doing a good job keeping to the center of the stage. I think if if you notice, like people who stay in the center of the stage, oh, oh, oh. whoa, okay, well, interesting solar beam there. I don't know if that was on purpose uh, or if he just wanted a victory. If it was an accident or if he wanted to like a victory uh, solar beam thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Uh, if if he has the solar beam charge, then he can't just sit there and heal with B. Right. Oh yeah. Because oh, when you hit B, you both charge it right, and right. heal. So I don't know if that was. Yeah. That it was probably a mistake because charge. it is really powerful. Right. It's worth more yeah. as as yeah. an attack than. Um, yeah. So if you watch Ivysaur right now, he's playing pretty close to the center of the stage, um, where he's trying to, and um, so that's that's really nice for oh, Ivysaur. Who both of these characters have such good like. Oh wow. Both of these characters have such some good control some over the map. Here. Oh, that's <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that's a okay. mistake. Well, we're having a lot of kind of errors, user errors right now. Yeah, um, uh, we're does using have. new TVs, and they that um, so that we don't have the input lag that we normally have. Wow, nice shot. Right. Um, because we normally play on just. Um, HD LCD TV, HD yeah. TVs, so we have more input lag, and people are not quite accustomed to the change. Mm -hmm. Most people say it's better, but then, of course, we're not used to it, so right. it makes it a little harder. That was a great down air by yeah. uh, Ivysaur. Zelda really has to watch out now because Ivysaur's in a very, very clear lead here. Yeah, he's um, in a good spot. trying to edge guard with dash attacks. Um, but again, I think I think Ivysaur just has an advantage here of being. Uh, having more range, and even if you land those mines, he uh, he has he has a couple other ways of getting towards you. And once he's in your face, yeah, he's got good recovery. Yeah. Oh, but that was a beautiful toe. Yeah, that was a nice. wonderful toe. Um, All right. Well, it's one stock. Yeah. What is it that people say? One stock isn't a lead, right? So. Uh, right. You can lose a, a single stock just like that. So. Uh, Zelda's doing a really good job here of staying in the center and kind of yep. um, keeping keeping Avisor away. Oh with wow. the dash attack. That was a beautiful up smash, a full um, up smash. Does a lot of damage. As you can see, the percentage is close. Zelda's not done, done yet. Um, oh, oh, that's, a, that's a good grab. Oh, and there's the top! Nicely done. That was a very good match. Despite a little bit of some user er errors. Yeah, but it went both ways, though. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So I think I'm coming up in a match soon. Oh, okay. Do you want to switch out with... Yeah, I think I will. Um, Ryan? No names. I mean, <laughs> hashtag swag lord. Can you please commentate with me? Uh, I think Ian 
Oh, okay. I mean, it doesn't matter, whatever. Ben, who do you have on our deck to commentate? Alright, because um, Ryan and I are playing the next game, so when the next TV frees up. I mean, I'll just do it for now. Okay. So whenever one, do one coming. Alright, welcome back. I'm Dodge Pong. Hello. So, man, that match. I, uh, Beast coming back from a pretty big deficit there. Uh... But I would not count Bunzer Steel out. He has beaten me many times. He's just an excellent Ivysaur, and I'm looking forward to seeing how he comes out here. Oh, nicely done with the dense fire. Uh, but uh, Bunzer Steel is great with those uh, Ivysaur. I think it's down B, the uh, stun spore or whatever it's called. Uh, he is down. He did counter uh, Pokemon Stadium. Interesting choice. Oh, and not quite a ping on that uh, on that vine, but uh, it got him close. Nice recovery though by boss, or uh, excuse me, beast. Still at four stocks apiece. And not quite. And okay, there it is. First stock going to Bunts of Steel. But uh, it's not much. It's a hundred stock. He is one hit away from dying. Oh, and he's got a solar being charged. One of my favorite things about Ivy Sword, just waiting to see. Oh, and he goes early. This is uh, wrong way to throw there. Oh, nice reflect. Twice in a row. Playing the dodge game here. Trying to get as much damage as possible. Nice uh, job on the edge guard there. I'm sure we're nursing a 156 here. Still not going down. Zelda's climbing. And the throw, and he's dead. So, did a pretty decent job building up some, uh, building up a little bit of a lead, but, you know, it's still 3-3. Three three. And, yes, one stock is not a lead. Forward smash. And that Ivy Sword side er, side tilt kills him every time. Nice reflect though. Great on those reflects, man. And nice dodge there. Roll into the forward smash. Great read there by Ivy Sword. I should be using their names. We got Bums of Steel and Beast here. Bunch of Steel slowly building that lead, but he could go away so fast. Nails that, uh, that, what is it, attack called? Leaf? Cutter attack? Leaf cut? I don't even remember now. And, uh, now going up on, uh, to one stock. Are we going to see a three stock? Is he going to be able to pull it off? And nope. Zelda takes the stock. But we have quite a ways to go, and a quick 16%. 26. It's off the stage. Oh, nice. Actually done by the Zelda recovery. Ping, but too low a percent. Oh, people are talking in chat, and I think... Nicely done. So now we're one and one. Uh, sorry, chat froze on 
on the thing I was using to read it, so I'm going to have to refresh it here. Sorry about that. You want a link to the bracket. Uh, yes, there's a uh, link right there. Challenge.com slash Logos Smash. And, uh, here we go. What did I miss? What did I miss? Right here. There we go. All right. Actually, you know, we don't have many people who play Spaces here. We have a few who play it, uh, like, maybe as a secondary, but um, surprisingly, we don't have very many. And we go. Whoops, that's the wrong perspective. Here we go. Game three. And uh, I'll be honest, uh, Beast is doing a great job. He's, I remember and he is an intern. We do have both interns and developers, or like full-time employees here. Uh, Beast is an intern. He came here as uh, part of our internship program. And uh, Bunza Steel is a full-time developer here. And so, uh, you know, sometimes interns come and they didn't realize we play Smash. And then they, you know, get acclimated. And you know what, Beast has done a great job uh, learning and figuring out characters that he likes to play. So... Uh, good on him for taking that first match. And, oh, nice ping there with the... What is that? I need to learn the names of these moves. But, uh, I was sort of taking the convincing first stock only with 13% and building up that uh, percent lead already. And changing to Sheik. Uh, was that on purpose? He's not changing back. So I think that's on purpose. We'll see how this turns out for him. Uh, I just use the term ping. Like, whenever you hear that ping sound, I, I use the term ping. I don't know if anyone else does, but... Two stocks now from, uh, from Buns of Steel on Beast, and, uh, we're looking at a four stock here. I we're only at 8%, switching back to Zelda now for Beast. Um, not gonna get four stock here. Uh, we do have the charged Solar Beam. And uh, a lot of damage now put on. I think he's a lot more comfortable here with uh, with Zelda. And oh, <laughs> the long range reflect almost again. Like this fighter does just a great job controlling space off stage. I really like the change they made to Dense Fire in uh, Project M. We can still hear you messing with the mic even if you're not talking. <laughs> Vine Whip, thank you, Raccoon. Still four stocks here for Bones of Steel. And Beast has quite a gap to build up or to recover from here. Uh, oh, nice steal there on the Ford Smash. That would have been certain death. And no, not quite a death there. Nice dodge on the reflect there. Nicely Ooh. done with the stun spore up, smash off the top. And this could be a four stock. Are we going to see a four stock? Our first one of the night, at least on stream. And no, we could see a JV, JV four, JV four, JV. Do we got a JV? Solar beam. Oh, and he hits the solar beam. Is it gone? Oh me. <laughs> uh, I think he may have thought that was over and just dropped. Uh, but unfortunately, that was a, an easy stock drop there by Buns of Steel. Still up two with quite a lead here on uh, on beats 96%. Not a JV3. Maybe Freshman JV3. Is Freshman JV3 even a thing? And... Off the top, and there it goes. The Buns of Steel. Great games. So, Buns of Steel advances in the winner's bracket.